I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here with uh, Mark Wood. Hi. Famous, world famous violin viper player from uh, uh, Trans Siberia Orchestra, among other places. That's other correct. Things. And he travels a lot and does educational video. And uh, he's going to help teach us a little bit of physics. All right. Uh, uh, your instrument there, which is uh, called a viper. That's correct. The design it has seven, uh, seven strings. And you'll notice that uh, the light strings up here, very, very thin strings. And the strings over there somewhere are very, very heavy strings. So the mass to uh, length ratio for the heavy strings uh, should produce a lower frequency. And the skinny ones, which have a very uh, small mass to length ratio, should produce very high frequency. Could you run through your strings real quickly for us? Absolutely. From high, we can get up to frequencies that probably only dogs can hear. So it's approximately seven octaves that we have from... So, uh, so you're doing, besides hitting these different strings, you're also touching it at different places on here. And this variable changes what, the length of the string? That's correct. Okay, so, changes the pitch. so we've measured one of these to be, uh, well, let's go through this A. Now the A note is uh, 440 hertz, and this string is uh, 33 centimeters long. Okay, could you play that A for us so we can hear it? Now, if you wanted to play the octave, that's doubling the frequency. So from 440 hertz to 880 hertz. That's correct. Which play that sound. Right. You, you, you gotta play it on the same string. Ah! Okay, then we have it up. Which is actually a harmonic. Right, right. Okay. Now, put your finger back where it was. <clears throat> and without doing it, play the harmonic. And without hurting you, yeah, I want to measure this distance. Mm -hmm. We notice that it's... Uh, it's about 15 and 3 quarters centimeters. So that's exactly half the that's length. That's correct. So half the length of the string doubles the frequency. So the relationship between frequency and wavelength is an inverse relationship. And so that works. I like this. Physics is so much fun. Could you uh, play something for us? Oh, absolutely. Well, do you want to hear death-defying feats or just a demonstration of the strings? Give us everything until we run out of tape. <laughs> you got it. Let's see.
photo opportunity? No, oh, that's right. I was going to say thanks an awful lot. We appreciate that a great deal. My pleasure. He's not convinced tonight. Thank you. Thank you, guys.